Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Shaman King Power of Spirits. I'm your host Nikki Darius. Last we left off, we helped Lin uh, fight his uncle. That was pretty much it. <laughs> uh, it. It's far more dramatic in the anime, I assure you. But, point is, we won, he lost, we get to continue the story. Um, let's see, we're gonna go wrong for you this time. Rio level it up. Let's go more HP for you. I don't think anyone else... Oh, shit, Trey. I forgot you were a thing. Um, let's do Furioku for you. A little bit of HP, and then some defense. Yes. I'm not sure it really matters all that much how it is that you allocate these guys' stats. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yo, okay. They don't give us Li Pai Long, but then again, I think that's because Li Pai Long himself is part of another character, uh, Jun. Yeah. X H. To the finals! Base. You think this is where the next round of the shaman tournament is gonna go down? Why else would they tell us to come here? Our snow-capped friend uses a clear logic. You're so small. Huh? Are your minds so limited that you can only consider the simplest explanations? Huh? Who are you? Stop butting into our conversation, dude! <laughs> I wasn't butting in. That was butting in. Ah! Trey! Ig, what is that Leviathan? This is Spirit of Fire. Unlike me, he's easily angered. So you better be careful how you talk when he's around. Especially when you're talking about the future king. Who happens to be me? My name is Zeke. Future King? Zeke? Hm. Future King, please. This guy's a punk. Master Zeke, you have to get back to the arena. Or else we're gonna miss the Dolby plant plane that's flying everybody to the testing ground. They're the girls from before. I suppose you're right. We've all greeted each other already. Yo. Hmm? Like these three goth girls, you're going to become an excellent servant of mine. But for now, I need you to keep winning and getting stronger. Do it for the future king. Do it for Zeke. That guy was a tool! I wonder how he knew. You know... That the reason for coming here was to catch a plane that's supposed to take us to the next testing ground. Yeah, well, we don't know if that's true or not. He seems to be correct. Look at that. A plane just for the Dobie tribe. It's the Dobie Jumbo Jet. No way! Hmm. Seems everyone has gathered. Well then, get on board. We're off to the Western Desert, to Dobie Village. Attention, everybody. Please excuse us for the long, difficult trip. What? We're here already? Currently, we're flying at an altitude of 40,000 feet, and we're approximately 1,000 miles from Dobie Village. Jeez, we're still far away. Take me when we get there. From this point on, you must use your own efforts to get to Dobie Village. Huh? Huh? What does he mean by that? Remember, contestants. The shaman fight is intended to test the strength of your spirits. This is the first test. You have three months to find Doby Village. No additional information will be provided at this time. Anyone who does not arrive at Doby Village in time will be disqualified from the tournament. Now, 
please hold on to your personal belongings. The Dopey Jumbo Jet, which is the spirit control created by the Grand Shaman Council, will disappear. Into transmission. Huh? This is awesome, Lin! It's like we're flying! Yes, sort of. Only instead, we're plummeting towards the end. What are you talking about, dude? Awesome? We're gonna crash into the ground! We're gonna kiss the dirt! We're gonna die! Calm down, Trey. Huh? No one's gonna kiss the dirt, yeah? Right before impact, we can focus our Furyoku into a spirit control cushion. This is the first part of the testing of our spirits. In this contest, if you imagine that you'll fail, then you will fail. Eh? Don't worry about a thing. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Rio, wake up! It's morning! Huh? You'd sleep through your own funeral, wouldn't you? Wait, that doesn't work, does it? You'd sleep through your own... Uh... Huh? Let's go, everyone! Spirit control! Everyone okay? Phew! That was pretty easy. Of course it was easy. I'm here. My power is astounding. What was I doing? What's the matter with you, Rio? Alright. Where to, dudes? You gotta find Dobie Village. Any ideas, Trey? Me? I don't have a clue. You never have a clue. Even when you're surrounded, like right now, you're totally unaware. What? Haven't you noticed, Trey? They're all over the place. How can he say that so calmly? Is it an enemy? Well, is it? Come on! Why don't you show yourselves? You have excellent observation and intuition skills. No wonder you won the Shaman Tournament preliminaries. What's with the mask? Mask? It can't be! Is this one of the fellows you rumbled with back home? Those were my minions. My name is Heckle. So, what do you want? Revenge for these so-called minions? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. They've appeared. They look like freaks. What do you want with us? How would it help you fight if you knew our reasons? It wouldn't, I guess. I just... don't like to fight if I don't know why I'm fighting. Because we think your brats are annoying and we want to get rid of you. How's that for a reason? Nope. Sorry, that doesn't do anything for me. This isn't the time for conversation! Ray's right for once. Alright then, let's do it. I gotta say, I'm usually with you on, on that sort of a thing. Any good reason to fight? I really don't want to fight. Saving, saving. Cause they might kick my ass. I don't remember the Dobie Jumbo Jet being a spirit control thing, but you know what? I ain't gonna complain. Alright. I ought to keep them paired or tripled up. So, let's have... Yo. Yeah, Yo, Meryl, and Trey are gonna start in on this group. And then we'll have these two team up against this pair. Now we can have multiple fights in a round, so. And these guys are just minions as far as I know, so they're not gonna 
be overly difficult. I might not even be bother with uh, any additional people in this fight. Unless it requires me to. Does it require me to? Is that mural then? I got a kind of feeling because Mural is one of those uh, original characters do not seal for this game. He's going to be important, I guess. Yeah. That got her like 1H. Uh, not even any experience. She did no damage, so... I guess I shouldn't be terribly surprised. Alright, so let's see. Two. Oh, hello. Oh, Valkyrie. Are all these guys still just homunculi? Hmm. Valkyrie. Fenrir. I wonder if there is a connection. I don't know what a heckle is, though, so... <laughs> I don't know the connection there. Let's see. Three with an attack of 34. Not bad. Alright. Uh, what is it that the Valkyrie does? By the sound of her, I would assume... She's probably some sort of healing unit. Or a ranged unit. Uh... You've already moved, so let's go ahead and have you attack him. And get real non this fight. Okay then. <laughs> I seriously don't know why the hell they do the auto fights. Maybe sometimes just to make sure that if there is a tedium, just to have it removed, I guess. Still. Um. Oh, wait, no. But you want to have Trey backing up other people. Not getting directly into a fight. Because his range sucks. So, if he ends up in a fight, he's going to end up getting pummeled. Uh, pretty much solo. Well, that's an interesting choice of movement. Oh, he's moving in for a fight. Well, moving in... ...somewhat. Yeah... I think I got this, but let's go ahead and bring in Trey. Am I sure? Maybe. That's a laugh. I think that there was a way to swap out to the other characters. So if you wanted to, say, have someone else take the fight for a little bit, you could do that. I don't remember how it goes, though. Also, I think you can use the analog stick in order for movement, too. Hmm. I'm gonna have to try that next fight. Alright, he's gonna move. Oh no, he's not gonna move in. Is it just gonna be Meryl? Nah, gonna get Yo in there too. Get some experience points for the main character. That laugh. As a choice. Oh hey, I think I am fighting as Meryl for once. Nope. I gotta find that out. I'll find that out between videos. Oh, oh, there we go. I can speedy through that section. Oh, you want to have a fight with Rio? How Lin shall join the fight? I... Okay, I was about to say, I don't see why the hell there's an actual fight here, but... Yeah. At least they both get experience points. Alright. I suppose I should have both of them starting to move in on Heckle. I 
I'm kind of hoping that more minions don't get summoned up. I might skip this round just to have them move closer so we can get a proper uh, turn in on them, as it were. All right. And no? Hmm. Weird enemy formations going on here. Alright, brings in the Valkyrie. I'm gonna switch over to Shrek. Yeah. Am I sure? <laughs> Never. Can't swap here. I hope it's not something like I gotta press two buttons at the same time. Oh man, the Valkyrie's actually got a knife. No. Black? No. Yeah, button config, please. Stand guard. Well, that tells me nothing. Am I just forced to... I think I'm just forced to... play with the characters I play with. That's kind of lame. Well, at least Trey's getting a little bit of experience. Alright, that leaves one homunculi and Heckle. I'm not sure Heckle's gonna move any closer. Two. Hmm. One, two. Who's got the most reach? Lynn does. Shit. I'm gonna play a little smart. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't get him to come over to me. Kinda like that. Perfect. Alright, as much as I would love uh, Tao Lin to join in on this fight, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> so when I had started this Let's Play, uh, I had asked the one friend that I have that I know and remember, actually remember Shaman King, uh, whether I should play this one or the Game Boy Advance one that plays like a Metroidvania. And she was all, fighting game. And from what I recall, she loved Owlin. And I can't blame her. He, she, yeah, he is a pretty cool character. Get him up in here. And I believe, eh, just barely not. Actually, if I have Tao Lin. Nah, I'm just gonna have Yo start the fight. Spirit control. In heckle. Two on one, that's unfair. We'll get two on two. Spirit control. Gonna wreck his face. You know, once we remove the mask. Let's rock this thing! Let's rock this thing! Uh, keep on telling myself, I really gotta play this or watch this again. Oh, oh no, he got the upper hand or claw. Ow, 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 ow. Dude's got a lot of speed to him. That was a little bit of a waste of Furioku, but that should do the trick. What? <laughs> Nothing like a good old final slash to end it all. He's dead. Ugh. Didn't know you had become this strong this quickly. I'll return at a later time. <laughs> 69. E level 8. 
Uh, only one to level up. I suppose I would get more if I were to think smart and actually advance on them faster, but... Will someone tell me what it was that was all about? Who knows? Hmm. If they get in our way again, we'll simply be forced to humiliate and defeat them again. That's all that matters. So, what's our plan? We gotta find Dobie Village, right? We're not gonna find it standing around here. But, we don't even know which way to go. At a time like this, a man must be resourceful. Allow Rio. <laughs> Just that fade from the face she had during the fade out. That was awful. Embarrassing. Silence, Ruby. I just got a little careless, is all. Carelessness happens when you will... When your will is faltering. Perhaps your devotion is lacking. Yeah, and perhaps you're annoying, Zerumo. You got a problem, maybe you should go. I was planning on it. Hmm? What do you mean? It's my turn. Watch and learn. <laughs> Good idea, Rio. Hitching a ride? In order to get around, you must be able to speak the language. And a man of the road knows how to speak the language of the highway. <sighs> Yay, it's noon already. Where are we? A billboard up there. Hmm. Yon Tefe. Rich with cultural riches. Sounds good. Someone here should know something. No one here knows anything. What's up with that? Everyone I talked to said they never heard of Dolby Village. They looked at me like I was a freak. Don't worry, Meryl's not back yet. Maybe she found out something. No! Hey, Meryl. What's the scoop? I did some wicked fact-finding research in the town library, yeah? I found one teensy little tidbit about Dobie Village. There's a traditional song that mentions it. Traditional song? That's right, a traditional song of the Seminoas. Another tribe who were suddenly wiped out about 500 years ago. The song is called Song of Ruin. And uh, it kind of refers to the Dobie tribe as, uh, as demons. What? Dobie tribe is a bunch of demons? Well, it was kind of vague, but according to the song, 500 years ago, the Dobie tribe tricked the shaman of the Seminoa tribe and then totally wiped out most of the tribe. <sighs> Are you serious? Does that mean that we have been tricked? There's one more thing. There's still more? The librarian told me that the last descendant of the Seminoa tribe lives on the outskirts of the town. Her name is Lily Lala. That's the name. Maybe if we talk to her, we can get more specific information. Sounds good. Ah. The plot of the game is slowly unfolding itself. And by the game, I mean the game's plot, not the plot of the whole Shaman King tournament. I'm not even sure that the actual villain of the Shaman King tournament is the villain of this game? I'm not going to spoil it right out for people that haven't seen Shaman King. Because if you haven't seen Shaman King and you're watching this, go see Shaman King. I don't think it's that long of an anime in comparison to a lot of other animes. Uh, it is a 4 kids one though, so I would suggest the subtitled, not the dubbed. Because, ugh. In any case, I'm going to go ahead, call an episode here. When we return, uh... I guess we're going to talk to a Lili Lala gal person. We'll see. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys you guys I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.